Welcome everyone, here is how you use the Apple Pencil on the iPad 10th generation. So first of all, only the first gen Apple Pencil is supported by the 10th gen iPad. The reason why is because there is no you know, wireless charging connector for the second generation model. You will also need to buy a USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter in order to connect the pencil to the iPad and you do have to buy this from Apple directly. Do keep that in mind. Now, I wouldn't make a tutorial on how to connect the Apple Pencil, but this is a little bit of a process. So you will need to get the charging port, okay, or the charging cable for your iPad 10th generation. You're going to connect one end into the adapter. So if we take a look at this here, where the circle is, that is the Apple Pencil, where you place the Apple Pencil in. The other end is where you place the USB-C. You're then going to get the other end of the cable and you're going to place the other end of the cable into the iPad. You then remove the lid of the Apple Pencil and if this doesn't work then you don't have a first gen Apple Pencil, you have the wrong model. And then you connect the lightning into the top and when you do that it's going to do a pairing process. You may also need to go into settings, Bluetooth and then the pairing request should show up. Once you have connected the Apple Pencil once to your iPad, you do not need to do this when you want to charge the Apple Pencil. Instead, what you do is you leave the other end of the USB charger in the actual charging brick. So if you want to charge the iPad, of course you plug in the USB-C like this. And then when you want to charge the Apple Pencil, you remove it from the iPad, place it into the adapter, and now your Apple Pencil is charging, as you can see right here. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, I'll have that in the description. So once the Apple Pencil is connected, let's learn the basics. So if I open up a note-taking app like the Notes app, if I go to the markup tool here, when you are doing drawing, first thing to note is there is pressure sensitivity. So if I go on the screen lightly, you can see this faint line. And I'm going to add a lot of pressure and you can see faint line, harsh line. Now because this iPad screen isn't laminated you may notice that thing show up here but the screen is not being damaged okay it's just there is a physical air gap and that's the reason why that happens. On top of this uh, the Apple Pencil has detection for if you're doing drawing like this okay where the pencil is face down or if the pencil is on the side as you can see. So that's pressure sensitivity first and then it can detect your like this on top or on the side as well. Now with these tools, if I tap on the tool here you can change the thickness and the opacity for the eraser, your pixel eraser which just you know erases pixels, object eraser will erase an object you create. So if I do a circle like this and use the object eraser, you can see it removes that circle. So if I do that again, you can see, boom, boom, just like this. Of course, if I go to here, you can change the colors and you can select a custom color by tapping on this color wheel. You also have the shapes feature, so this will help you draw shape. And you can also add text or signature. In the triple dots, it will give you the option to auto minimize this view here. Or you can also turn on or off drawing with a finger. So if you find when you're drawing, sometimes you know you're accidentally using your finger, you can turn that feature off. And you can go to the pencil settings here. And you can see all these options available. So the main stuff is the scribble feature. I personally turn this off. So what this does is if you have a field where you can type stuff, you can go to the Apple Pencil, do a little drawing here of your text and it will uh, convert that like that. I personally don't like this feature, so I personally turn this off. You can also change the pencil gestures as well. So left corner swipe is going to take a screenshot, right corner swipe is going to do a quick note. So how that works is you go from the bottom left swipe up diagonally you can see that takes a screenshot okay 
and from the far right diagonally Let's try that again you can see it opens up the quick note you can do some quick annotation and then hide it if I tap into this you can change what the swipe does I personally turn off the quick note because I, I only activate it by accident and the left corner swipe I leave it screenshot of course when you use third party applications the Apple Pencil will have more features available or less features depending on the application but here are the basics so with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye